Welcome back to Honda Football. I have another review for you guys today. Today I'm going to be covering the Shut Air Max Flex shoulder pads as well as the Shut TPU backplate. You probably saw my unboxing a couple weeks ago and I finally had a chance to test these out. So I'm going to go over a couple of things with you guys in my review. First is going to be just the comfort, uh, the customizability because these are the custom Air Max Flex shoulder pads. Uh, going to go over some of the positions that I would recommend this for, the flexibility in terms of uh, my range of motion. Um, and then just some of the other things in terms of the cost, uh, the durability, and some of the weight. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the review. So we're here at another uh, indoor facility. we will be testing out these pads today. This is shot here, Max Flex, and I brought two of my buddies with me. We got Stump on this side, and we got Dwayne on this side. Uh, so other than that, we're about to get started. Alright, so the first thing that I noticed about these shoulder pads is first of all the color. Uh, so you can see that there's this blue color right here, um, as well as the blue padding underneath, which you might not find a lot of shut shoulder pads. So uh, this is the customizable version, and what that means is this padding underneath the arch can be customized to any color that you want. So I got it in blue, because obviously the team I played for is the Lions, we wear blue. Um, and then the other thing that you notice is this blue right here, as well as the blue underneath the shoulder right there. So what that is, is TPU, they use it in a lot of shut helmets. If you've seen my review on the shut Vengeance, uh, the shut Ion, you automatically already know what TPU is and what it stands for. So it's lightweight protection, and it's one of the best uh, protection properties that I've seen, or materials that I've seen, and um, they use it in the shoulder pad. So here, you can see a little bit, um, you know, it's sticking out from the arch, and I think it really just provides a cool visual. If you turn it and look at the side, you can see just how thin that TPU is, so I really think that it's here in the arch more as a visual standpoint, which I like. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Then if you look under the shoulder, there is TPU, a thin layer of TPU, um, right under the shoulder. So that's going to add additional protection uh, on, underneath the arch and on top of the body padding that cushions you. Um, I will say that I think you know it did protect me the, the chance I had to test it out. I'm not sure if it really makes uh, a difference uh, in, your, in your normal hits, probably in some of those heavier hits that you don't experience every day or in everyday play um, it will probably protect you more again. So uh, just like other shut shoulder pads, there's uh, different options that come with this that you can kind of customize it with uh, that come with the pad right when you order it. So first, and it's something that I removed, but first you're going to have the Velcro right here and that's to provide you with uh, additional padding to raise the pad up off of your AC joint. So that's something the TPU is going to aid in protecting and then also comes with these deltoid pads right here. There's two screws that these go into and I actually removed them because um, I wanted more range of motion. I'll show you what I mean by that. I don't think it necessarily prevents it all the time but if you wear a skin tight jersey like I do uh, this padding is not going to move and it's going to it might be a little difficult to uh, move your arms up and also across from your chest. So I removed those but I'll show you what I forego when I remove them because you are, um, you know, exposing part of your shoulder when you do take them off. Before I try these on, I do want to talk a little bit about the weight. It is not the lightest pad from Shut. That to me would be the Armor Light in terms of what I felt when uh, I had it in, and put it on. And it, you can check my review on the Armor Flex, which is the model before the Armor Light, and the Armor Light is kind of that newer model, but also the lightest pad they offer. Um, it's not only going to be light, but it is going to uh, give up some of the characteristics on protection just because it is such a light pad. This is a flat pad design, and most modern day shoulder pads are flat pad designs. So you can see, and I, again I'm going to put it on, but you can see how this shoulder pad here is just really flat. It's not bulky. You can see uh, the cantilevers here, how they're a lot smaller. So they fit nicely under your jersey, not big and bulky. Um, so they, from an aesthetic standpoint, they provide you a nice look. Um, you can also see how it lays over the shoulder arch, so this is not going to fold down on your shoulder when your arm is underneath. 
further protecting your shoulder. The other thing I really like about this shoulder pad is that it's completely customizable in terms of how it fits to your body. I've noticed in my use of shut shoulder pads that the foam uh, padding really conforms to your body after you break it in and that's when it's going to be most comfortable. Uh, the padding here, you can remove it because it's, it's really velcroed in. And so what that does is allows it for easy cleaning, if you can take a look, as well as allowing you to really customize how the body pad fits on your body. So honestly, it took me about 20 minutes to adjust because I'm super particular. You can see me adjusting it now. Because the, the fit is extremely important to me. So once you have it just right, you know, you'll know, you know how your pad, you like your pads to fit. So I kind of move the body of the pad in. So I move the body cushions in a little bit. I moved them up higher and kind of rotated them how I wanted the pad to fit on my body. And that's something that I haven't seen in a lot of other pads. Um, and it's definitely something that I like about my shut pad. So let's go ahead and try this on. I can give you guys more details about the pad. Let's take a look at these pads right here. So they're super comfortable. Um, I like it. I feel snug. I feel secure. I talked about these deltoid pads right here. So you can see what is exposed this entire part of my shoulder. But I think that's okay for me because I like that additional flexibility that it gives me in moving my arms and going across. You can see when I kind of lift up my arms that here because it's tight around the neck where it goes into my throat. That's something that's gonna change as the pad breaks in and it really forms to your body. And that's something that, again, I like about shut pads. Taking a closer look at the body thing belts that they have on here, this pad model actually has thicker belts. So this is about 1.5 inches versus a lot that have one. So it's gonna be super durable in terms of putting it on. A question that I often get with these as well, because uh, I think a lot of you guys use the elastic, right? And I, in some of my other videos, I went over why I think belts are better than elastic. I'll go over here again. Uh, with elastic, it allows you to easily put it on, so that's the benefit, uh, but then it stretches. So when you know, you're getting blocked or trying to get off a block, it's really easy for someone to push up on your pads. So when I'm facing a receiver, I love when they have those pads because I just jam the pad right up into their throat. When you have belts, the belts are not gonna flex, so it's harder to actually move that pad. The downside is you have these things here that if you don't have a tightly fitted jersey, then these are gonna you know, stick out a little bit. Uh, you can check my Safe's jersey review. That's gonna go over uh, what a tight fitting jersey does to your shoulder pads. Um, but what you can do if these stick up is you can go to a craft store, get some Velcro, and actually put Velcro on the ends of these, put them on your pads, and tie them down. So you stick the Velcro in between the pad and here, and that's just going to hold them down for you if your jersey can't. So you guys also wanted me to put on my jersey with these pads because you wanted to see how it looked. Um, you can see how it lays flat over my shoulders and I talked about how like you know uh, the arch is protecting it so even if my shoulders in this is not gonna hit my shoulder it kind of protects it but even if your pads stick up a little bit like this you know what you can do uh, if you have a tight fitting jersey is once you put that on that's really what's going to shape your pads so you guys are like hey how do the guys in the NFL you know get their pads to look like that and really what is, the jerseys are, are compression jerseys. Um, again, I went over my safe jersey review, so compression jerseys are gonna pull your shoulder pads down and in, and it's gonna give you that flat pad look. So all modern day pads, if you buy them online, are gonna be more of that flat pad look. I don't think Shut has any shoulder pads that aren't you know, this slimmer uh, profile design. So now we can talk a little bit about the TPU backplate. So go ahead and check out the TPU backplate. It's the same TPU, like I said, that's used in the helmets. And you can see here that uh, the bulk of the pad is made with TPU and it just has that uh, shut arch at the back uh, to really help protect. Uh, but it is soft, so I did like that about it. Um, it. It seems like it would be hard, but it's really not, and I'll take it off and show you guys that in a little bit. This backplate does not have to be used with these pads. 
They didn't come with these pads, so this was a separate order. I just got it because I thought it went with it. You know, the shoulder pads use TPU, so I wanted to test out the back plate they use TPU. Um, so it can go with a variety of shoulder pads. You see it has two attachments here for different lengths. I obviously put on the shortest one because it is supposed to protect your back. And you flip it up and you look at it. It's made of two connected pieces of TPU. And this is actually soft. You know, it's not like cushy soft, um, but it's soft enough that I think it does perform better, honestly, than my traditional foam backplate. So that's something that I really liked about it. Plus, it looks cool because it's blue. Backplate itself is $38, $40 from Sports Unlimited. That's where I got both of these from. Um, so you can go ahead and check that out. Again, use the I Know Football discount. You can get yourself 10% off. That's in the description down below. Click about, click description, and you can see it there. The pads were $260, and now you can get them on discount. They're much, much, much less than that. Again, from Sports Unlimited. Shut is coming out with the Air Max Flex 2.0. I think they're already out. Um, visually, I think these are much cooler just because of the blue, and there's uh, not much difference in terms of the use of TPU, except they did claim it's going to be a little bit lighter. So I haven't tested that out, um, but again, I did uh, like this pad, enjoy it. So if you like my review, remember to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys next week.